Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. We're going to work on how to divide polynomials. And there's basically three steps to this. First, we're going to figure out what number to put up top. We want to multiply that number by the w minus 5. We'll put it down here. And then we want to subtract it away so that we can get a new number and repeat the process over again. Okay? So first, we want to just observe these two first terms here and think to ourselves what multiplied by w will give us a w squared. Well, the only thing that, this, that will happen will be a w. So w times w gives us a w squared. So we're going to put that guy on top. Now, part two, let's go through the multiplication process. w times w, w squared. And we'll multiply the w by the minus 5. So this will be minus 5w. Right now comes a very important part. We want to subtract this away. Now, one thing that helps me is I'll put this in parentheses and I'll put a giant old negative sign out front. Okay, that'll help me remember that I'm subtracting away the entire thing. Now, let's see how this affects things. So, w squared minus w squared, that's gone. Then here I have minus w minus a minus 5w. Hmm, well, let's see. I think that is actually a positive 4w. To see why, let's go over here on some scratch. So I have minus w, and I'm subtracting a minus 5w. When you see two negative signs together like that, that's like saying minus w plus 5w. And you see, there's where I get my positive 4w. All right, so let's continue on with this process. I'm going to bring down the minus 26 and basically do it all over again. So again, I think to myself, what multiplied by w will give me a 4w? Okay, the only thing that will make this happen will be a positive 4. So we take the 4, that's our number up top. We're going to multiply by the w minus 5. So 4 times w, a 4w. And 4 times a minus 5, that's a minus 20. And of course we want to remember that we are going to subtract away that entire thing. So I put my big old parentheses on there, giant negative sign out front, and we subtract away. So 4w minus 4w, gone. Negative 26 minus a minus 20. Remember, that's like saying negative 26 plus 20. So this will give us just a minus 6. Okay. Now when the power reduces to a smaller power than what you're actually dividing it by, you stop this process, and the negative 6 down here becomes our remainder. So we have a remainder of a minus 6. And I can leave that over the w minus 5. So my final answer, when taking the w squared minus w minus 26 and actually divided by the w minus 5, my answer becomes w plus 4 with a remainder of negative 6 divided by w minus 5. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.